What's going on? R Savage here back with another RuneScape video and I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today I'm bringing you a video on my first Telos kill. This isn't a complete guide but maybe you guys can learn something from this. So I'm showing my first Telos kill right here. It's obviously Zero and Rage and then uh, in the next clip I will show you guys my around 10th Telos kill I believe. And I do do a lot of things different, but I'm still not good at this boss. I know there's a lot of people better than me. I've seen the pros do it, and they're completely destroying him compared to me. But here we are going in. I can try to talk through what I'm doing to show you guys, but I obviously don't really know what I'm doing here. I did watch a few guides, but once you get into it, the nerves and all of that, it's hard to remember everything. But now I've gotten a little bit better at it now that I'm used to the boss. Obviously only 10 kills in. I'm not completely that good. You'll see in the next clip after this one. But here we are. We're in the first phase. If you guys aren't familiar with Telos, maybe you can take this video and try out Telos for yourself. But you do need to have a lot of good gear. I barely even have the best gear. I know people do go with magic. Uh, but I just had melee because this is my most expensive and best gear. So you can see right here, I'm using a lot of techniques to take down Telos's health. And I didn't know that this beam right here is the beam that will give you unlimited adrenaline. I did stand in it right here because I know most of the beams are good to stand in, but I wasn't aware it gives you the adrenaline. So you do see I don't use my EOF and spam the dragon claw spec like I do in the next one. So right here, this is the transition into the second phase. Tell us it's at 300,000 HP. And I know I should probably be commentating more of what I'm doing. Uh, I also have some overloads popped. I have a weapon poison plus plus plus. I got some restores and I also have a, a pack yak. I don't show. Uh, I should probably show that later on. I, I do have it in my next kill. You will see, but I have that filled with food. I tried it with one of those steel titans. I should probably try it with a ripper demon. I couldn't seem to get through the kill though. I just, I'm not good enough with the mechanics. So I'm going to stick with a pack yak for now until I get better. But you can see I'm not really good with all these mechanics. I don't know how to anticipate correctly, but we're still getting through the kill basically. And we'll see how this goes if you guys stick around. Will I get my first Telos kill ever? You can see I'm actually doing a good amount of damage because I'm used to other bosses just like Araxor. I'm used to doing some uh, good DPS and stuff like that, but I'm still messing up quite a bit because I was really nervous. You can't tell the out, out of Telos. You just have to take the death. But I'd also like to mention, this is practice mode. I forgot to show you guys that. If you did notice before I went in, it was practice mode. So I won't have to pay a death cost, which is a very nice feature. And you can see Telos is in this beam right here. And I think I do freedom. No, I don't freedom. I just tank the hit. Uh, I was late to getting out of that, but it's all right. We have enough food. And I'm also using the vampirism aura. Oh, I actually do have a steel titan right here, but I, I switch it to a yak later on. But that's why I wasn't able to get through here. But I also like to show my shield. That is great for resonance. I don't even know how to uh, resonance some of the hits. But we will get there eventually. And it's always good to try it out on practice mode. If you guys are struggling just like me, I would definitely try it out on practice mode. And now we're in phase three. And this red beam actually does a lot for you. It gives you like a lot more damage output. And I'm not even sure if I knew this at the time, but I stand in the red beam anyways. And I actually decided to take out these creatures. Not too sure if I was supposed to or not. I still got to go look at some more guides and figure out how to take this boss out correctly. But I'm definitely trying to stay in that red beam, you can see. And now we're in at this uh, hold right here. I wasn't able to... Oh, I actually did escape that. But usually when you get into that hold, you need to freedom and then surge out of the way once he jumps down. And you'll see I got a whole lot better around my 10th kill. It's such a difference. And I actually changed my strategy to not even take out these anima golems. Because it does take a lot of time. But here he is right there. He actually did hit me. I'm still learning that mechanic where he comes at you. I think it's the Gilinor uppercut I believe. But now he's down to only 100,000 health. Phase 3 is over. And now we're going into phase 4. In this phase I had completely no idea what to do. Um, it just kept getting worse as the fight went on and you guys will see how I go down right here But I don't have that much food either which at this point I was thinking I definitely need a pack yak That was a must because the steel titan is just not doing enough for me And I know you guys are probably saying uh, I should be using ripper demon But I just want to use up the rest of my steel titans that I bought before I do that 
And also those Ripper Demons are pretty expensive. Uh, I think they're worth it though for the DPS. I always hear that they're amazing. Uh, but now we're taking out these golems, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just making sure to take out the things hitting me, basically. And we're standing near this uh, thing right here, and I didn't know you have to stand next to it to avoid this instant kill mechanic. So I'm super confused right now. And I actually did manage to live right there. I'm not sure. Maybe I went into the zone of that other uh, orb thing. I'm not even sure what they're called. Uh, you can tell I'm completely new to this boss, but look, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die right here eventually. Uh, this is not too bad, though, for my first try ever. I definitely put up a fight, made it to Phase 4, and he only has 50,000 life points left. I was pretty proud of this. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys did this good on your first Telos run. Uh, I definitely did watch some videos. I didn't want to spend too much time. I just wanted to get right into it. And I do think it makes it a lot more fun. But here I die. I come out uh, of the orb. You're supposed to stand next to it. But that is how I died. So now I'm going to show you guys with the next clip where I am successful with a kill. Alright guys, we're back. And you can see I have a totally different approach to this kill. I actually changed a lot of my keybinds. And I obviously changed my interface layout. I changed the interface scaling actually to 135%. And previously I was at 100% and now you can see all of my abilities much better and the keybinds and I can also see when the abilities are on cooldown and whatnot. So this helped out a lot and I did learn this from other RuneScape content creators. So shout out to Evil Lucario and also Nuznuz. They actually inspired me to change my setup right here. But now we're going into my actual kill. This was around uh, 10 kill count I think for me so we're actually a lot better at the boss right here you can see I'm doing a little bit better on DPS um, I also did get holy overloads this was big I know I was using overloads for a while and I figured out they're very bad to use because they do cost more uh, since you do use overloads to make these holy overloads uh, the overload only has a four count but this one has a six count and you're basically converting them in with the prayer renewals so not only are they better, but they also save you money, if I did explain that correctly. Uh, definitely check that out if you guys are using normal overloads. It's good to switch that up and save you some money. But you can see I'm using the green bean uh, to get some adrenaline, basically maxing it out. And I'm also using a freedom ability to get out of that stun right there. And now we're continuing the DPS. And uh, I think I'm getting out of here. Yep, there we go. I'm just DPSing Telos down. And I also show you guys the enrage of him. He's not zero, but it's not quite 100 yet to get into phase five. I'm just in between there, still learning the boss, and I still have a lot more to do. But once again, I also have the weapon poison plus plus plus. And you can see I have a pack yak on the right where I will be taking the food out of. So we're also going to do that. And you can see my quick prayers. I actually have the tier 99 melee prayer. I forgot to mention that previously. I decided to buy this instead of the ZGS so I don't have to worry about switches. But now that I'm uh, working towards the ZGS, I'm very excited to get that and use it uh, on Telos. So that's very nice. I'm also using soul splits for some of the fight and the magic prayer when I need to. So that is very important to notice. And now we're just basically killing Telos. Phase 2. He's around 255,000 life points. I like to keep him out of the black beam because I know that beam makes you take less damage. But you also deal less damage. So I found out the pro people who do this basically lead him out of the beam. And yeah, I'm also trying to soul split flick as well as pray magic when he's shooting those things at me. Uh, it's kind of hard to do while I'm on, I have the manual for my thresholds and ultimates, but I have my normal basic abilities on the Revolution++. Plus Plus. So that's kind of hard to uh, soul split flick while I'm doing that, but I'm getting used to it. And that's definitely something I can look forward to mastering. So now we're going into phase three and I absolutely love this phase because you can do so much DPS with this red beam. It's just amazing to see all the output right there, but you'll see right here, I'm going to run into it and start hammering him down with the scythe. It's kind of hard to stay in the beam. You're going to make sure you push him out of the way. And now we're going in. You see all that damage right there. Stack up. We're just putting it all into Telos right now on phase three. And there's also a nuclear bomb thing that goes off. If you see under his life points, there's a green thing. We want to keep the green all the way to the left. 
and we can do that by killing these golems but uh just to make the kill faster i decided not to kill the golems but definitely higher in rages uh, i'm gonna have to learn how to deal with this mechanic because uh, i have absolutely no idea how to uh stop the nuclear thing from going but we're just killing them as fast as we can staying out of that we just got rid of the stun by using freedom i also need to learn how to use anticipate and uh, look at the attacks to notice it but now we're on to phase four he's also phasing um before 100,000 life points because we have a uh, higher enrage than zero you can see that but now we're heading over to this first orb i guess you'd call it definitely has another name but I'm not familiar with it yet. We're just DPSing him down. Once again, I tried to resonance some of these hits. You can see right there, uh, I didn't get it off. I actually had to eat food, but that's something I do want to learn how to do is resonating those hits, but it's hard when there's a cooldown on the ability. So I just got to get used to that, but I'm now using Quake and Hurricane to get down these golems. And I actually did that very effectively. I'm learning how to manage my adrenaline and uh, do all that stuff, but I got my shield out. And it's kind of weird because the resonance does get a cooldown right here. So it's I couldn't resonance that. And I had to uh, get out of that stun with the freedom. And now we're heading over to the next beam. Oh, and actually it does say the enrage is 33%. I don't know how I didn't see that. But uh, we're dodging the Gilinor uppercut right there. You can see getting a little bit better at that as well. Not the hardest mechanic at Telos for sure. But we're just hitting them a lot. I should resonance this. Not sure if I do. I don't think I managed to do it. Uh, there definitely is a weird uh, cooldown on resonance when he does the thing before that. So I got to check that out and see if I can figure out how to resonance that correctly. But now we're just standing next to the orb to avoid the instant kill mechanic. Right there, now that he's done, we also have his so much power ability coming right here. I wanted to use the reflect ability, and I think I did right here, but sometimes it won't work because there's a cooldown. Uh, once again, I gotta check that out. But I was able to get rid of half the damage on that so much power ability. But uh, we're now into the end. I almost actually died there. Still gotta learn how to anticipate once again. I know I'm not explaining everything correctly. Uh, I just gotta get used to the boss more. And we're taking out the golems, and we're getting it near the end of the kill. It's super exciting to take out Telos like this because I know he's one of the best bosses to make money on. So if you guys haven't already tried Telos, make sure you try him out. Maybe you'll like it. And it definitely is a fun boss. Once again, I don't think... Oh, I actually was able to resonance that one right there. Trying to declaw spec him down. Just get to the end of the fight. We're so close right here on a 33% enrage kill. And we're getting there. And we just had to freed him out of that. But there we go. We got the kill. And here is the loot. Nothing too big, but it does uh, add up to something nice. And we also finish our Yak Track, which is very nice to see. But here we go, claiming our loot. And this is a three kill streak. Right there, we got around two million in loot value. Only on three kills, which is very nice to see. But now we're headed off to the Wars Retreat to wrap up the video. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I want to give a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed. We just hit 300 subscribers and I really appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed. And if you are new and you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But that's going to be it. Once again, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.